So you want to get organized, take the best notes, never miss an important assignment, manage your time, and become that student. I got you. My simple yet super functional Notion setup is literally perfect for students who want to get organized and productive for back to school. My setup includes features like an automatic to-do list that organizes everything according to priority, a system to take note of your important assignments, a tracking system for your progress in your classes, revision plans, active recall templates, a place to manage your finances, books, TV shows, and so much more. So today, I'll be giving you a full Notion tour and also showing you how to use Notion because it can get a little bit overwhelming at first. I will explain how to download and use this entire template at the end of the video, so be sure to watch till that part. If you don't already know, Notion is a super popular free app and website that allows you to get organized, write notes, plan your budget, collaborate, and so much more. Alright, let's get started. I'm looking to my right because my monitor is here. So here is the home page. You always want to go to the three dots on the top right hand corner and make sure that small text and full width are turned on. If not, it'll look squished together like this. So ugly. If the font is too big or too small, just press command and minus sign until everything fits. Alright, so let's look what we have here on the main page. I literally only included what you absolutely need. You can add habit trackers, inspiration boards, and other features more geared towards journaling, but I find that it just makes the space very cluttered, so I don't like it. So let's go through all the features of this page one by one. So I put all the to-do lists on top so that it's the first thing you see when you enter your Notion account. If you look on the left, you'll see this thing called Master To-Do List. If you click on it, it'll send you directly to the automatic to-do list that I created. We'll get to this later, but let's go back first. So let's just say you want to write down all your tasks for Monday. Just click on it and write down what you want. I've also added a divider in the middle so you can separate your work according to priority. You can also add more lines by pressing the plus button and then choosing what you want. In this case, it is a to-do list. You can also note down anything you want to remember for the next week over here or write down any additional thoughts that you may have. So let's scroll down now and you can see that there's a timetable for you here to manage your time. You can change the times if you want like this. Then you just type down what you want to do in these boxes and press enter. If you don't like the color, just click on the three dots at the right hand side and change it. And now if you want to do homework again, you can just click on the tag and it'll automatically add it for you. So let's scroll down to the bottom and you can see that there are four categories. Education, finances, leisure, and others. All these things that are underlined on the left hand side are links that you can click onto that will direct you to another page. I'll show you what those other pages are in a little bit. I've also linked a Spotify playlist for you guys so that you can listen to music while you're studying. As you can see here, there is a countdown for my birthday and also a weather widget. I just figured that some of you might be walking to school or university, so looking at the weather might be very helpful. Both the countdown and the weather widget are completely customizable. I used indify.co to get them, so I'll link a tutorial down below on how you can use and change them. So don't worry, you can just use indify.co to change the weather to your country. And lastly, here is a calendar for you to jot down things like birthdays or important events. Just click on the plus sign at the top left corner and then add whatever you want. So now let's go back up and if you don't like this adorable cover for some reason, you can always change it. They do give you a pretty good selection of covers, but you can always choose to go to Pinterest and find other pictures there. Or you can create your own cover using Canva. Go to canva.com, create a design, custom size, and make sure the dimensions are 1500 by 600 px. You can also add an emoji on top like this. Oh, that's kind of ugly. Okay, let's change it. Uh, okay. Or you can add a custom icon using notion.vip. Just find the icon that you want, click copy, then paste the link up here like that. So I created 8 pages for you guys and that is just one of them but there are a million ways to customize your Notion account so I'll leave a few tutorials down below that you can watch. 
So let's move on to master to-do list. Now, no kidding, I spent four hours making this automatic to-do list. So I hope you guys like it. So you want to immediately scroll down all the way to the bottom of the page to task dump. Here, you will write down everything that you need to do that you can remember. It doesn't even have to be related to school. Alright, so that's done. Let's move on to the third column. Now, if you click on the box, three options will pop up. So obviously for the first task, it is high priority and it is a form of an exam. So let's click on both of that and let's do that for the rest. Now, here's the fun part. So if you assign a due date to each task, the system will automatically organize it into three categories up top. ASAP, soon, and later. All your exams, assignments, and projects will also be organized into the purple section. This is just so you can keep track of all your upcoming important tasks that you have. So now everything is organized according to priority, and I think this feature is super, super useful for all students out there. So now let's go back to the home page and scroll down. An advertisement might play in the next few seconds, so if you want to support this channel, please do not skip the ads. Thank you! At the education section, I want to go to the university overview link first, so let's click on it. So you can see here all your classes for the week. You can edit the names of each class like this, and change the color by clicking the six dots, then color. You can also add another class by clicking the plus sign and then dragging it over. To add a zoom link, just highlight the text and then add link like that. It'll automatically send you to your class when you click on it now. So now let's scroll down a little bit and you can see two calendars. The top calendar is for you to organize your classes. Add the classes by clicking on the plus sign, then write your title, then click on tags. Pause to read the function of each tag. You can always create a new tag if you want by typing and pressing enter. The different colored heart emojis represent different classes and correspond to the colors on top. By the way, you can change these emojis. This is a great way of tracking your progress for each class so that you do not miss out on anything. Next, the calendar at the bottom is for you to organize your deadlines. I didn't include everything into one whole calendar because I felt like that would be a little bit too messy. So add and delete your homework and assignments as you wish. And you can also change the tags according to your progress. Moving on, here you get to write down all the important exams, assignments, projects, and quizzes that you have for the whole year. It will sort itself automatically from the earliest date to the latest date. That way, you can see exactly which important assignments are coming up. You can also tick as you complete each one of them and you won't miss anything. Don't delete anything even if you've completed them because you can open a separate page for each assignment by clicking open and then you can add all your research, comments and add your final paper here. That way, when you're revising for your exam, you can immediately access all your resources, corrections and papers just like that. So here is the notes and revision page. I've already added two countdowns for you that you can change by clicking Customize on the bottom right. Just click on the six dots and drag if you want to move them around, like this. This calendar is for you to plan your revision schedule. And if we scroll down here, you can see that I've prepared two subjects for you already. There are two groups here. The first group are your revision plan and your notes while the second group is your revision notes. So let's click on one of the links in the first group. This is your notes for week one or whatever topic that you have. Feel free to rename it. So you have a to-do list up here that you can edit and a rearrange according to priority. And at the bottom, you can write down questions that you have and the teacher's explanation. If you scroll down some more, these will be your notes. You do not need to retype this entire template every time you want to do notes for a new topic or new week because I've already created a button that you can click and it'll automatically create a template for you. You just need to drag it to the place that you want it to go and change the emoji. Now, your revision notes will look a little bit different. Here you can practice active recall and you guys know that active recall is the best way to remember and retain information. You can check out my video on that here. On top, you'll write down the areas that you're weak at that you want to revise. Then at the bottom, just hold shift, right arrow and space to generate a toggle. Now you'll just write your question and your answer. Then hide your answer when revising by clicking the arrow on the side. 
I've also already created a button for this particular template on top of the page so you guys don't have to retype this template every single time you want to use it. Can you guys tell I put in a lot of effort and time into this? Please like and subscribe! <laughs> if you have more than one subject, just highlight whatever you want to duplicate, then click the six dots, duplicate and move. Now this page called important information is just really simple. It's just personal information about you, your courses, your school and your university. Now let's go to finances. I think this is pretty easy to understand. On top, you will track your expenses and write down your budget. The table will automatically count how much you've spent for you. You can also add tags for everything that you buy like food, going out, trips, transport and so on. Then you can filter the tags so you can track how much you've spent in each category. Oh wait, I think I forgot one tag. Yeah, that's more realistic. Now let's go on to wishlist. You can write down what you want on the left under no status. Then move it to urgent if you want to buy it as soon as possible. Then move it again once you've made the purchase. Alright, so let's move on to books. I named this page Facebooks because get it? Like Facebook. I'm so sorry. So here you can write down the name of the book, the author, the price, when you've started and ended the book, and the genres. The cool thing is that you can go to Google, download the cover of the book, and then attach it here. That way, you can just change this to gallery view and bam, looks like an online bookstore. So the last page is to track all your shows and I think this is pretty self-explanatory. I don't watch any shows but I hope this has all the features that you need. So if we go back to the main page and scroll down, this is for any hobbies, interests or side hustles that you may have. Click on the six dots, turn into page. It'll just automatically create a new page for you. Make sure you turn on small text and full width so that everything isn't squashed together and ugly. The link to my entire template is in the description box below. Make sure that you create a free account and when you click on the link, go to the top right hand corner and click duplicate. It will not work if you don't click duplicate. If you've made it this far, comment down below if you're organized or disorganized when it comes to school and I'd be sure to reply you. Also like this video because I spent a lot of time on it. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications and set to all so that you do not miss out on any future uploads. Thank you all for 140,000 subscribers and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye bye!